Hi, it's Jen from Frauzini. I wanted to share with you the seeds I purchased from Prairie Moon Nursery. Um, I'm really excited to get my hands on these native plants because a bunch of them are going to start seed sowing now in the greenhouse, which is not heated. Um, it's actually pretty cold in here today. It's in the high 30s, I think, when I last checked. And I have some candles burning to try and give like a little warmth, but not really working so anyway let's go through the seeds that I ordered and we'll see what we have in here okay so this year with seeds I'm trying to curb my <laughs> um, seed buying just because I do have a lot in my stash but there's a bunch of these seeds that I didn't have because they were native plants um, and I haven't purchased many native plants outside of you know comb flowers or um, some of the Coryopsis from seed before. So this was my chance to really get started on that. So um, there's a variety in here. Um, oh, of course, milkweed. How could I forget milkweed? <laughs> um, so yes, always milkweed and coneflower. So those are already here in the mix and I'll hold those up. I've got my pale purple coneflower, um, prairie milkweed, and I'm going to try showy milkweed. That one is usually more native, um, not in my area, but I would like to give it a shot anyway. And also, because I'm a big fan of Liatris, um, the Northern Blazing Star, I have this one growing as a perennial in my garden. Um, there's always room for more, in my opinion. Some things I haven't tried before, such as this purple passion flower. Jacob's Ladder, that's another um, native plant that I've grown because I've purchased it as a plant, but I haven't tried doing it from seed. So that's another one I'm ex extremely interested in. Meadow Beauty, I mean, that looks just awesome. Um, this one, can't wait, I forgot, <laughs> I forgot what it does. Um, and it isn't on those packets, so I will have to look that up, but I knew I bought it for a reason. Uh, Blue Sage beautiful. Um, I ordered the seeds for Virgin's Bower, which is Clematis virginiana. Uh, that's the native version of that plant, so much better, not as invasive as um, Sweet Autumn Clematis. I also have got a Rocky Mountain bee plant. Uh, it's a type of Cleome. Uh, can't wait to start that one. Pale Cordialis. Isn't it fun when I can't pronounce the names? Um, so this is another plant that I've seen in the stores, in the nurseries um, as a plant, but not um, as a seed. So I ordered this one. Um, it also says it's a prolific self seeder and it's the native alternative to bleeding hearts. So again, something fun to try to grow from seed. I'm going to also be giving Amethyst Shooting Star a chance. This one um, can be a bit difficult to start growing from seeds, so we'll see what happens. Um, St. John's Wort and Shrubby St. John's Wort, good for the bees. Pearly Everlasting, this is a host plant for the American Painted Lady Caterpillar, so wanted to include that in the garden. Pussy Toes. Um, this is a nice, low-growing native. Um, I've grown it before, but I don't pick the right spots for it. So I'm hoping this year I'll find a better spot to grow it in the garden so it actually comes back. Maryland Sienna. This is um, one of those powerhouse natives, um, which is great. I'm going to try to do this one from seed. See how it goes. Royal Catchfly, Celine Regia. Um, I love this plant. I included this one in Bird Friendly Gardening. Um, it's good for attracting the hummingbirds, but it also um, catches pest um, insects um, because the stems and leaves are a little bit sticky. Um, there's also Fire Pink, which is also a type of Celine. Short-lived, but fun. River Oats. Love this one. This is another one I included in the book. I have it growing right outside the greenhouse here. Um, and I've seen the birds helping themselves to the seeds. They've been plucking them off uh, throughout the winter here. I love jewelweed. I know that it could be a little exuberant, um, but this is the yellow version. I have the orange, so definitely want to give that a chance. 
and um, cream violet viola. So you can't go wrong with those. I have the purple ones in the garden. Um, always room to add some white, some more violets. Uh, yeah, so that's everything. I can't wait to start sewing some of these now. I'm going to leave them out here in the greenhouse where it's nice and cold. Um, I'm going to skip the milk jugs this season and just see what I can do in the greenhouse, see what will grow. So follow along. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me, seeing what my stash is for uh, native plants right now, and we'll, we'll keep growing. Thanks.